So this week, uh, the Speaker of the House made a huge mistake. Um, Kevin McCarthy has now upset Trump by being in an interview where he said, when asked a question, if he thought whether President Trump was going to make a great president, uh, he said he wasn't sure. He said something to the effect of Trump could win the election, but he wasn't sure if Trump would be the strongest candidate for the Republican Party. Um, so he immediately called Trump to apologize for the statement, but by this time, the Trump world was furious at him. How could he say something like this? People have been waiting for Kevin McCarthy to trip up like this, and naturally he does. Um, I don't believe that Kevin McCarthy is really a big fan of Trump anyway. Uh, I just think he's used Trump over the time to to get the gavel. Everyone would tell, tell you that the Speaker of the House used President Trump's uh, influence so that he could become the Speaker of the House. Now, Trump has hit the, the election trail, in I think, in New Hampshire. And so Kevin uh, McCarthy has pivoted and already started calling people and trying to work things out, trying to get in back in the, the graces of Trump. But uh, at this point, I think they're pushing him out because Kevin McCarthy actually uh, sent out some some emails to to get some fundraising going using Trump again as his, you know, as as a friend. And Trump has asked them to squash all of that. Uh, he doesn't want to be affiliated with uh, Kevin McCarthy at this point. Uh, basically, what happened there was Kevin McCarthy stepped out of line. And right now in the Republican Party, um, anyone that steps out of line is going to be punished by all of the Trump followers and all of the people who are doing um, things to get Trump back into the White House. Why? Because right now it's looking like President Trump is the favorite to win the election and uh, everybody has sworn allegiance to Trump. And so by stepping out of line, basically you're floating your opportunity of going against what the party wants. And so there's no, I mean, everything is lockstep. There is no going beyond and doing your own thing when it comes down to the Republican Party right now. Um, no one has a say. Uh, they speak as one body. It's party over country right now. And there's a reason for that. Uh, many people don't like it, but there's a reason for that strategy. And it might be a smart strategy. But right now, you're looking at a situation where if you step out of line with Donald Trump and his followers, then you're basically saying you're not Republican. So I'm talking to you right now. Also, all of the Republicans that are out there right now, if you feel like you say something against President Trump, do your friends turn against you? Do you feel like your friends say you're stepping out of line, that you're a liberal that you're going along with other parties and doing other things that you shouldn't be doing. Do you feel controlled by the Republican Party? So that's a point to, to be argued, because I don't feel like I'm controlled by any man. I can vote Republican. I can vote Democrat. It's up to me. And, and it's also up to me about uh, who I choose to follow in the election and who I vote for. I, I haven't sworn any allegiance to anyone, but I feel like too many people are doing that. And by that same token, those folks are controlled. You might say that you're not controlled, but if you step out of line and your friends straighten you out and say, hey, no, we are Trumpers and that's it. And you can't step out of line. You can't do this and you can't do that. Well, where are you at? 